You may have heard this before, content is king or queen when it comes to attracting clients to your business. But how do you build a content plan to attract your audience? Maybe you've started a blog, but you're finding it hard to produce content consistently. Or maybe you're writing or filming videos about everything under the moon, but you're not really receiving traction for these actual viewers or readers to turn into interested customers or subscribers. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to laser focus on what you really want to be known for and create structure for how you produce the right content to attract clients and build your brand. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you're new here, I'm Lydia Lee and I help budding entrepreneurs create their dream business without struggling with self-doubt, overthinking and complicated strategies. So if you're looking to build a business that you love, that's designed from your strengths, your values and personality, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell button to keep tuning in for videos just like this one. The first step that I want you to take is to start identifying what your actual genius zone is. In other words, what do you want to be known for talking and educating people on? I've always said that marketing is just a conversation, right? We're educating people with planting the seeds, but what is it that you want to plant the seeds for people to be able to do, right? Or feel or experience. So really just take a pause right now and think about what it is that really is meaningful for you to share. What do you keep actually probably repeating all the time anyway to most people? And just do a little brainstorm, right? Take a few minutes and just take out a piece of paper and do a bit of a brainstorm on the types of topics that you know is going to be really useful for your type of audience, but it's also something that lights your heart up, right, when you start talking about it. And then I want you to think about how do you want to teach people? What is your style of influence? When you're starting a business for the first time, it can be really tempting to want to be on every single platform, right? Instagram, Pinterest, uh, YouTube, whatever else that's out there these days that I don't even know about anymore, but it can feel right, really overwhelming to try to appear visible on all these different platforms. But the best thing to do, especially as a first time entrepreneur, because your time is limited and you really want to build your audience consistently is to really stick to one platform that really helps you to show up in the you that's the most you, right? So for me, I converse and I influence and I communicate better when it's something like video. So you'll see that from my marketing strategies at Screw the Cubicle, it's a lot on YouTube. I do a lot of live streams. I do a lot of things like webinars, right? Because that just feels easy for me. And when things feel easy for you, guess what's going to happen? You don't procrastinate and you're not going to drag your feet on marketing and building your visibility because it's going to feel like your natural tendency, your natural gifts. So really take a moment here to think about how do I want to share information? How do I want to teach? How do I want to influence people? Now, if you're someone that's not good on video, don't pick any video platforms. There are so many different ways that you could be sharing content. There are blogs that you could write. You could write articles on Medium. You could share posts on social media, right? You could do webinars, you could do all sorts of different things that is much more in tune with your strengths. So I want you to really take some time to choose a system that works for you and stay consistent in one platform to start with so that you're actually committed to showing up every single day. Next, I want you to start choosing themes that represent your work. And I want you to limit it to three themes so that you don't feel kind of stretched too thin to talk about everything under the moon that is going to just end up confusing your clients in terms of how people know you and how they remember you, right? For the right things that you really want to be known for. So three is kind of a magic number that gives you some variety, right? Of not just sticking to one type of theme, but those themes relate. And the more they can relate, the more your audience are going to be hungry for more content that you produce every single week or every single month. Now, I want to help you a bit with this because I know that this brainstorm is such an important piece to being clear 
about what it is that you want to produce content on so that you can actually get to work to do it right every single week. I'm going to give you a free download that you can um, get for free that's going to help you to produce content. And many people who have done this spreadsheet that I've designed for you, really easy, uh, it's helped them to produce at least 60 topics that come from these three major themes that they choose. And literally, they have all their topics completed, right, for filming or writing about Till the rest of the year. So you can download that on the cards that are appearing above this video or the description underneath this video uh, that can give you access on how to create this content plan that's going to make your work easier when it comes to producing content for your audience. So picking three themes, one of the tips that I want to give you is that you want to stay with themes that represent your best work right? So what that means is that you're not going to talk about topics that aren't going to be in alignment with your offers, in alignment with what you're selling as a service provider or what your product represents. So for example, with Screw the Cubicle, I sell, right? Helping people transition out of corporate into entrepreneurship and I help them to launch their first business. And it's a meaningful business that they launch. So for example, some of my topics are Career reinventions, right? So that's a theme for me, career transitions, career reinventions. Another theme for me is meaningful work because a lot of the heartbeat of what it is that I help people get to is how do we get all their skills and their strengths and experience into the next chapter of meaningful work. And then the last topic I have is about starting a business. Where do you start, right? What are the main foundational pieces to start your business on the right foot? So these are really the three main themes that I usually really craft my content around. And it really helps me to categorize my playlists on YouTube. It helps me to think about categories to put on my blog, right? But it also helps me to think about topics that represent these themes in so many different ways. And it sticks to what I know, it sticks to my genius zone. And also in due time, as my audience starts to read and watch these videos, they're going to start to really write, like really solidify for them that this is the work that I can really you know, they can value from me and that they can get done with me and me alone, right? So themes are going to give you some boundaries, give you some structure so that you're not really thinking about just anything you want to write about or film about every single week. Now in that free download that I'm offering to you to help you to brainstorm your content ideas and build your content plan, there's going to be an additional Loom video that's going to walk you through how to do that. But I want you to start really thinking about different ways to talk about specific topics that your audience cares about, right? So when you go from the theme to subtopics underneath those themes, right, that will be really good for your audience to learn, right, and that are also aligned with the offer that you have, the work that you do, what you really get paid for, right? I want you to really remember this. You can talk about the same topics over and over again in different ways. Why is this important? Because sometimes there are particular topics that you are going to be talking about and writing about and filming videos about that actually need to be reminded for your clients over and over again because it takes humans a few repeated times, a few ways, right, that they absorb a topic, they're educated on a topic to finally hit the mark for them, right? That moment where they maybe read that topic again for the fifth time, it resonates. Something worked in the way that you talked about it this time that just seems to really sink in for them. So don't be afraid to repeat particular philosophies, concepts, and ideas that you know would be really powerful for your audience. Okay, so the art of finding different ways to talk about same topics is going to be really good to repurpose content, but also still be creative, right? To say the same things, but in a different way. And that content angle um, brainstorm spreadsheet to download uh, in the freebie in the links is going to be going to help you to find those ideas in that way. Okay, so a couple ways to really do different approaches in saying the same thing, but in different ways, is really think about a topic and then think about the struggles your audience has about that particular topic. What are they struggling with when it comes to that problem, right? When it comes to doing that thing you want them to do in that topic, right? Another angle is your story. We forget to do that all the time when we're always dealing with how to's, right? Is how did I navigate that topic? How did I navigate the fears and the struggles that I had as an individual and how can my, my story inspire you to make changes too. Talk about 
also another angle of mistakes people make when it comes to that topic, right? Maybe they've tried to do something to solve their problem and they're doing it wrong, right? Or they're doing it in a way in a, with a misconception uh, about something that is going out there in the world and you just wish that you could pull their attention to something else, right? What mistakes you're making in trying to tackle this yourself. Talk about tools. What tools could you recommend that could help people feel ease in that particular topic, in that solving of that problem? And how-tos are also really good for topics, right? How to do something in a bite-sized steps, how to do one, one tiny step in that topic in bite-sized steps, right? The more that you can break it down and make it easy for people to experience a couple wins from a small subject that you'll be writing or filming videos around, that's gonna help to build your trust and also grow your credibility with your audience. So I hope that you download that freebie content planning, content brainstorm spreadsheet I talked about, right? You can find it in the cards in the link below. And if you just spend about one to two hours brainstorming for the future, you won't ever have to guess again what your topics and your content should be every single week. And that's going to motivate you to actually start doing something about it rather than always needing to come up with ideas every week. And don't forget to collaborate with your audience. So if you're thinking up of topics by yourself in that content um, production spreadsheet and you thought, well, I wonder what my audience might be thinking about this topic, don't be afraid. Don't hesitate to ask your audience in a poll or simply send a message to individuals that represent your audience and ask them what they want to learn. That is one of the most amazing ways to actually find out pretty clearly what your next topic should be. So I want to hear from you today. What are your particular obstacles that might be in your world when it comes to coming up with your content plan and being motivated to get your topics out there for your clients every single week? I want you to share it with me below and also share with me any aha moments that you took from this video today that could be helpful to you in creating um, a right, the right content plan to attract your audience for your business. Thank you so very much for joining me today and I'll see you next week.